Banks are vital to this economy. Conventional commercial banks provide financial services based on interest, just on paid on both asset liability sites. To avoid RRR and MISIR, well as investing prohibited industries such as the alcohol industry, Islamic banks have devised a rent alternative business strategy. Malaysia emerged as a leading nation in the advancement of Islamic banking, boasting of the most expanded and intricate Islamic banking sector globally. The inception of initial Islam Bank in Malaysia occurred in 1983, subsequently leading to a substantial expansion of the Islamic banking industry. Currently, the proportion of Islamic banking assets in Malaysia banking sector exceeds 38%. The country currently hosts a total of 17 Islamic financial institutions consisting of 5 fully fledged Islamic banks and 12 Islamic windows within conventional banks. The advancement of Islamic banking in Malaysia has been facilitated by various factors uh, which encompass uh, Bank Negara Malaysia, the central bank of the country, has established a robust regulatory and supervisory framework. Next, uh, the government has implemented Uh, various measures to foster the growth of Islamic finance, including the establishment of the Islamic Finance Development Department (IFDB) and the organization of the Islamic Banking and Takaful Malaysia (IBTM) conference. Thirdly, there is an increasing need for Islamic financial products and services, which is being observed among both Muslim and non-Muslim clientele. There are various topics that are closely associated with Malaysia. Malaysia have, apart from its prominent role in Islamic banking, also holds a leading position in various domain of Islamic finance, encompassing Islamic capital market and Islamic insurance, commonly referred as the Takaful. The origins of Bank Islam can be traced back to the pre-World War II era, when the community Muslim in this region sought to establish a financial system that adhered to principle of Sharia. The establishment of the Board of Management and Tabung Haji in 1969 marked the inception of one of the pioneering Islamic financial institution in the country. Its primary objective was to promote savings and investment among Muslim. Simultaneous. It facilitates depositors in the process of the withdrawal funds during the Haji pilgrimage. On the significant day of July 1, 1983, Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad, commonly referred to as Bank Islam, was formally established. The inception of banking is denoted Islam is prevalent not only in Malaysia but also across the Asian continent. Bank Islam has established itself as travellers in the industry by introducing a range of innovative banking products and services that adhere to Sharia principle. The organisation has undergone a transformation from a banking institution that offers Islamic banking products and services to an entity that provides extensive and all-encompassing financial solution and also playing a significant role in transforming Malaysia's economic landscape and positioning it as a global prominent Islamic financial center. Maybank Islamic Berhad MIB function as the Islamic banking division within the Maybank group which hold the distinction of being the largest financial service conglomerate in Malaysia. The establishment of MIB occurred in the year 1994, positioning it as a prominent Islamic banking institution within Malaysia. The financial institution provides an extensive array of Islamic banking offerings, encompassing current and saving account, financial assistance for both individuals and enterprise investment vehicles, insurance option which is takaful, and service pertaining to wealth management. The MIB organization is dedicated to offering its clientele with incentive and Sharia compliant financial products and services. The bank places significant emphasis on research and development, consistently engaging in the creation of novel products and services in order to effectively cater the demands of clientele. MIB holds a prominent position in the domain Islamic capital market. The bank holds a prominent position in the market for the issuing and trading for Islamic bonds. The involvement of MIB in the sukuk market is notable as it successful organized and structured several significant sukuk transaction. MIB organization demonstrate a strong dedication to uphold the corporate governance. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Nafini binti Mustafa. So next is about uh, description of Islamic banking product. Okay, at certain bills, I uh, the product that we have choose it is a short term loan product compliant with Sharia law and provided by Maybank Islamic Berhad and also Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad. This product aim to assisting companies engage in international trade. 
Islamic principle and competitiveness which is it offer a syarah compliant alternative to traditional trade finance instrument and addressing short term cash flow needs of trading companies and the type of uh, AB finance uh, we have two which is first uh, imports which is uh, May Bank Islamic Berhad or Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad draw a bill of exchange accepted by importer or buyer second is a export which is exporter or seller draw a bills of exchange and accepted by um, May Bank Islamic Berhad and Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad Okay, next is about uh, the benefit of acceptance bills I for businesses, which is it can improve uh, cash flow management. Second, facilitates uh, domestic and interna international trade growth and reduce risk associated with trade transaction. And lastly, it provides a financing solution aligned with religious or moral belief. And the key advantage of ABI, which is uh, it enhances uh, liquidity for businesses and also it promotes growth while adhering to Islamic principle. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Shifat Tirabinti Muhammad Zaman. Okay, next, I will explain about the characteristic of product. Okay, the first one is element of rate. Bank Islam and Bank Bank determine their financial rate based on the cost of funds, which is COF. Bank Islam COF is fixed at 2.60% with a potential spread of 1.5% which is subject to the bank's permission. The financial rate is estimated daily and fluctuated based on the duration of the financial period unless fixed upon the customer's request. For my bank, COF is variable, influenced by market condition and includes the spread which range for 1% to 5% depending on factor like financial length and credit risk. Bank Islam appears to offer a more stable COF and a fixed 1.5% spread compared to Maybank's variable rate. However, the actual financial rate for both banks will depend on factors such as tenor, credit risk and addition fee. It's advisable to contact both banks to personalize quotes and a comprehensive comparison of their financial package. For the next one is contract. Okay, Bank Islam which is using contract buy dine which is debt trading. Bank Islam employs the buy dine contract, a Sharia compliant method for debt trading. This contract facilitates the sale of outstanding trade, debts or receivable commonly used for working capital financing, financing in Islamic banking. For the process, companies sell their trade debts to Bank Islam under the buy dine contract providing immediate cash flow uh, the bank in the bank in turn takes over the responsibility of collecting payments for from buyers on predetermined maturity dates. Okay, for my bank using Morabaha and Baidain B Asila contract. Uh, Morabaha, which is purchase or import arrangement, may be use this contract where, where the bank act as a seller purchasing a set of goods on behalf of the client. The client buys the, these assets from the bank at a predetermined cost uh, plus markup representing the bank's profit. Next, buy in the dime B Asila, which is sell slash export arrangement. Maybank employs this contract uh, where the customer sells its trade debt from export sale to the bank at a discounted rate. The bank then take over the responsibility of collecting payments from the customer's importer on specified maturity date. Okay, for the third one is the no. Bill to know, which is uh, the to know of a bill is the time between acceptance and payment deadline, usually measured in days, months, or years. It significantly influences the financing rate and total financing cost. For Bank Islam, credit term sale offer flexible tenures ranging from a minimum of 21 days to a maximum, maximum of uh, 365 days. 
customization allow businesses to tailor financing plans based on product or service type, cash flow, and risk tolerance. For consultation, businesses are encouraged to assess their needs thoroughly and consult with a bank Islam representative for for personalized guidance. For my bank, uh, acceptance bill financing provides. Uh, financing for up to six months for the acquisition of goods or service. Uh, the eligibility, the financing period is determined by credit worthiness, the nature of goods or service, and economic condition. Now, I will present margin of financing calculation for Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad and Maybank Islamic Berhad. Accepted bills I discounted price and profit margin at Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad are influenced by numerous criteria including the financing amount, margin rate, and tenure of the financing. The discounted price is the price at which Bank Islam purchased the customer's trade debt. The formula is discounted price equal to financing value times 1 substract R which is financing rate multiple by T, which is tenure divided by 36,500, which is based by bank. For the profit margin, it is the difference between the financing amount and the discounted price. The formula is profit margin equal to financing value subtract by discounted price. This data may be used by businesses to evaluate financing choices and make educated decision regarding their working capital requirements. Meanwhile, at Maybank Islamic Berhad, there are two forms of accepted bills I financing available, which are accepted bills I import or purchase and accepted bills I export or sales. Accepted bills I import or purchase is a bill of exchange issued on the client by the bank and accepted by the customer to fund the import or purchase. The Murabaha Sharia contract was used to create this document. Meanwhile, accepted bills I export or sell is a bill of exchange issued by the client and accepted by the bank to fund export or sales. It is based on the buy then Sharia contract. The financing facility provided our minimum amount of financing which is 50,000 or equivalent. Minimum financing period is 21 days and maximum financing period is 180 days. Margin of financing provided by Maybank Islamic Berhad is up to 100% of invoice value for accepted bills I import or purchase. It is means of financing for working capital requirements that is one of the cheapest means of financing in Ringgit Malaysia currently available. For the fees and charges, fees and charges related with accepted bills I sales at Bank Islam are direct invoice financing, commission charges, splitting or bunching invoice commission charges, local postage, career swift, rentas, and bank check, also charges in stamp duty for utilization notice and contract not BB48 and letter of indemnity for summary invoice also charges in handling fee of bills drawn under the lc and also charges in tax with of overdue bills and other charges such as fax photocopy and other direct cost meanwhile fees and charges linked with accepted bills i at maybank islamic burhat are 100 ringgit processing fee is applied to bills with an amount less than 500,000 ringgit and also 50 ringgit bunching fee is imposed for combining numerous invoice five or more invoice into a single transaction or splitting a single invoice into multiple transaction and also additional charges such as letter of credit issuance charges documentary credit charges insurance charges and also legal and advisory fees by design, which is debt trading, is a Sharia compliant idea that permits banks to acquire trade debts from businesses at a discounted price. Is the Sharia contract that applies in accepted bills I sales of Bank Islam. 
The trading of Bank Islam may utilize in accepted bills to provide businesses with a Sharia compliance solution to optimize their cash flow and manage their working capital. Businesses can sell their trade debts to Bank Islam for a reduced rate under the accepted bills product and Bank Islam will recover the entire amount from the client upon maturity. Ultra, which is a fee or service charge, is the other Sharia contract that is valid in Bank Islam that allows firm to acquire working capital financing from Bank Islam. Businesses can sell trade debts to Bank Islam for instant cash flow under the accepted bills framework, with Bank Islam collecting payment from consumers open maturity. Ujrah is a critical in allowing firms to efficiently manage their cash flow and satisfy their short-term financial obligation. Ujrah is critical in allowing firms to efficiently manage their cash flow and satisfy their short-term financial obligation. Maybank Islamic Berhad offers Sharia contracts such as Murabaha to buy orders and buy Jen B. Al Sila. Murabaha to the purchase orderer MPO, which refers to the purchase orderer, which is customer, promising to purchase an identified and specified asset from the seller, which is bank, on Murabaha terms, upon the seller acquisition of the asset. The bank sells the asset to the customer on a delayed basis and ownership of the assets goes to the customer upon the delivery of the commodities. By then be al sila, which is for sale or export arrangement, which refers to the sale of debt with payment consideration in the form of commodities. The client sells item to an importer on credit, providing export documentation. The bank then purchases the accepted bills at a reduced price, acting as the customer's agent to sell the commodity to a commodities trader. The proceeds are deposited into the customer's account open maturity. Now I would like to present about the cost of funding in MIB. It was determined by uh, on the day of financing that based on the combination of fact, this factor, which is the tenor of the financing, the credit worthiness of the customer and the prevailing overall market condition. This means the how much the cost will be given is by this factor. So if there is higher tenor, there is going to be longer of the percentage. And usually, it's going to take around 3 to 5% per annum. But maybe very depending on the individual circumstances and of the customer. Like I said, it was uh, based on the credit worthiness, uh, prevailing market condition. And also this uh, impacted by the current state of the market, like I said before this. Now we move to the cost of fund in BIMB. The cost of fund in BIMB instead of a three or five percent like my bank is around two point six percent. Cost of fund is acceptable is around two point six percent, and the spread will be at one point five percent. The break based on the interest. Okay, this factor also how they are giving this uh, percentage is also the same as uh, my bank, which is of uh, based on the credit worthiness of. Uh, customer, the private of the market, and the code by the bank on the intended day of institution of the facility that include the factor of tenure requested by the customer. So the customer will be request how long it's going to take the tenure is going to be. So then the bank will be calculated it based on that tenure. Uh, now I would like to present about the facility amount in MIB. So the fund is up to 100% invoice amount. So this means if the customer asks for 100,000 ringgit, it's going, they're going to take, they're going to give 100,000 ringgit. The precise condition of the trade transaction and your credit worthiness also will be determined how much money you are really, uh, really approved for. So it doesn't mean that you ask for 100%, it's going to take you, the bank going to give you 100%. It will also based on your credit worthiness. If you only worthy of eighty percent, the bank will only give you eighty percent. The fact that the MIB will consider whether to meet the financing limit is the credit history. So if in order for you to want to do high amount of invoice amount, you have to have a good credit history. Business financial statement. If you doing a business, you must include your business statement. 
the nature and value of the trade transaction and ability to repay the financing so that's why in order for a bank to trust you you have to have very good credit history now we will be moved to the facility amount that will be given by the mmb so the finance up to 85 of the invoice value if you're asking for 100 100 thousand ringgit you're gonna only get up to 85 thousand ringgit the price condition of your trade transaction and your credit witness will determine how much finances you really approve for so it was the same as m mib it's gonna see your credit worthiness first and it will be determined how much you will get so also they have some factor um, as maybe will determine the financial limit which are credit history business financial statement the nature of value of trade transaction and ability to repay the financing it was the same as the mib my bank so uh you just uh, the finance will be only up to 85 percent now i will tell you about the penalty late payment charge in mib so the penalty late charge of mib is going to take 80 percent per year above the base lending rate bir for the duration of late payment current annual late payment penalty for abi with my bank is 5.3 percent and the formula is going to be like this the 3.5 percent plus the 85 80 percent is gonna uh, is gonna be multiplied by 100 and gonna be multiplied by 30 days divided by 365b which is gonna take around rm 15 ringgit and 90 cent where the 30 days is the number of day the payment is late and the 100 ringgit is the value of the late payment so the customer will be assessed by assess a uh, rm 15 ringgit and 90 percent payment penalty if your abi installment is not paid on time by 30 days and it's gonna be increased by each day you doesn't pay now we will go to the penalty later payment charges in BIMB it was equal to daily Islamic interbank money market rate is which is IIMM there's an effect for understanding some from the day of due payment of the day of complete payment IIMM set the rate which varies according to the state of the market how the late payment penalty may be determined is amount which if you uh, borrow 10,000 ringgit and that will do it 10 October 2023 but you pay on the 10 November 2023 the it's gonna daily rate for the October is gonna be 2.5% so the calculation gonna be around 10,000 ringgit multiplied by 2.5% and multiplied by 30 days and will be divided by 365 days which is one year so it will be total is 20 ringgit and 55% and so the late payment that you will need to pay is around 20 ringgit and 45, 45, 55 cent. In a nutshell, Acceptable Bill I is a short-term financing product that offered by MIB and BIMB in accordance with Sharia law. It provides a competitive alternative for trade finance while adhering to Islamic principle, such as ABI, ABI imports local purchase and ABI export local sales. Both banks focus on meeting trade-related cash flow needs following to Sharia principle and BNM guideline that provide improved cash flow management, trade finance support, risk reduction, and adhering to ethical belief. Bank Islam and Maybank offer similar service, but Bank Islam emphasize custom trade solution within Sharia compliant, while Maybank emphasize global accessibility. However, both banks lack clear application process for ABI. Regarding finance element, Bank Islam COF is fixed at 2.6% per annum, while Maybank COF varies based on market condition. Bank Islam also separate is fixed at 1.5%, while Maybank range from 1% to 5%. That's all for the credit counterparty, market and operational risk that are in ABI transaction and both banks mitigate this through credit assessment, counterparty due diligence and risk management protocol. Choosing between the two banks depends on individual business need, with Maybank offering higher financing coverage and Bank Islam emphasizing Sharia compliance and custom trade solution. However, understanding the nuance of each bank's offering through direct communication is crucial for informed decision making.